What's up guys, Doc T here, and today I am back with another video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out my Discord and Roblox group. Today I am going to be doing the top 5 most annoying zombies in the game. What I mean by this is that there is no bosses included, that means no radioactive Fallen King, no Fallen King, no Golden Titan, none of that. Now also keep in mind, it only comes in solos, so say instead of Rusher coming in at 5 p at a time, it would, we would only consider Rusher coming in only in once, so that counts for everything. So that gives some zombies that are really, really strong, but don't, don't come in a lot, have a higher chance of being higher on this list. So yeah, guys, let's get on to the ranking. So coming in at number five, speaking of the Rusher, we have the Rusher. Now, the Rusher is threatening when there's multiple of them, but when there's only one of them and you already have outlaws, it's not that big of a deal. But the reason why it did so well in the other one is that they normally come in five, and each one has like 1,500 health, and they have super speed. If you have outlaws or anything good just to go against one, you'd be perfectly fine. So yeah, that's where the rusher is coming at number five. Coming in at number four, we have the tank. Now the tank is that one tower, one um not tower enemy that when you'll people will be like, oh my gosh, it's a tank, and everyone will be annoyed. And because this thing, it's fast, it has a lot of health, and it stuns um tower which is really really annoying if you don't have medic not to mention if it hits your medic then you're pretty much screwed unless you have uh, other good stuff and it didn't hit your zombie you're right you're at their per correct towers but yeah and if that's not, if that's the case then you're perfectly fine so yeah that's why the tank came in at number comes in at number four so coming in at number three we have the summoner boss now the summoner boss is a very 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 annoying boss actually i should have probably mentioned this in my last video the summoner boss, if y'all didn't know, has the ability to have a shield. He summons uh, bosses and stuff, and he has like a ton of health, like 15k, 20k, 30k, right around there. But yeah, summoner boss is super, super annoying. Now, I'm not talking about the summoner boss in Molten and Beginner. I'm talking about the one from Fallen Mode and Golden. So yeah, so that's why the summon or it could be only Fallen, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's why the summoner boss comes in number three. It's coming in at number two, we have the Templar. Now, the Templar is very, very annoying. You'd think it's be number one and now, but there is something that, because this is, think of it this way, we're doing all time. So there is something that has been at worst at one point. They talk about nowadays and Templar would be number one, but it's just all times. So, yeah. So the Templar is very, very annoying. He stuns towers. Like, you, uh, you need fast shooting stuff. Outlaws will do nothing to him. And if you don't have, like, Swarmer, out on no, no. the swarmer mini gunner uh let's see what else uh pursuit uh mill base then the commander you're gonna be pretty much screwed and that's, that thing's just going to get through so that's why the templar comes in at number two it's so coming in at number one this might be a surprise to those but to those that have that have played the game ever since fluid wasteland came out it's the original regen boss now this thing it's you think it's strong today it was 10 times stronger when it came out. When the regen boss first came out, it was pretty much unkillable. I don't, I don't care what you brought with you, you it, it would be screwed. It, when, I think it was like instead of 200 health a, sec, a second, it was 1000. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but it was something like crazy like that. And which means that you would have to have like 1000 plus DPS by like wave 20, which is almost impossible. You'd have to have like a commander, you'd need tons of mini gunners and turrets, probably tons of turrets, and What's it called? Outlaws. You need everything already by then. That's almost impossible. And to those that that are new to Tower Defense Simulator, well, you guys are lucky. You guys don't have to deal with this old piece of crap. So, yeah. That's why the old regen boss comes in number one. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, and please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out my Discord and Obos group. I am not sure how many subs I'm at at the time I'm making this video. Right now, I'm around 577. And I might be at 600 by the time this goes up, but if I'm not, um, if you guys want to get the new merch that co that's coming that came out for the limited time that goes away at 600 subs, I'd recommend gra gra grabbing it if you want to get it because it's never coming back. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Peace.